Hi everyone, it's Danette again, interpretive artist for Summit Metro Parks, and we're at week two of our toilet paper tube challenge. Last week was all about the rascally raccoon, and this week we're thinking color, we're thinking summer. We are creating butterflies this week. Now with your help though, I think we can create the world's largest virtual toilet paper tube community art project. That's a mouthful. And all you have to do is tune in here each week, follow the directions, create your art project, and submit it at hashtag at home in nature for everyone to see. At the end of this series, we're going to see how many people participated and how many amazing creations we came up with. Come on, folks. Let's have some fun. Remember, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but creativity is in the hand that holds the toilet paper tube. Stay safe, my friends. I'll see you next week for challenge number three. Okay, so here's the directions for week two's toilet paper tube challenge, the butterfly. What you're going to need for this week are scissors, an X-Acto blade if you have one, one toilet paper tube, some markers, a pencil, a stapler, and if you don't have a stapler, you're going to need some binder clips like paper clips or bulldog clips, some glue. You're also going to need the cardboard from a cereal box as well as some paper for drawing. So we're going to begin by creating the body of our butterfly. Now, as you can see, it only has one body segment, and we know that butterflies are insects and they have three but here's where we're going to use some of that artistic license and only make one but you can certainly decorate it to look like it's three so the first thing we're going to do is just like with the raccoon in the first one you're going to take your thumbs and you're going to pinch them together to form that peak now different from the um, raccoon is that you are going to do the same thing on the other end of the toilet paper tube. Now you want to make sure that it is opposite, that you're mirroring this shape from this side to this side. This is the shape that we need to have, okay? So once you've decided which is the top and which is the bottom, I want you to open up the bottom now. You're going to take a marker and you're going to draw a line about a half an inch from the point all the way down to about a half an inch from the bottom on both sides. What we're going to do here is we're going to cut the slits where the wings are going to fit into. You'll take your X-Acto blade and you'll put it in there and you'll cut right on down. Now if you don't have an X-Acto blade, what you're going to do is you're going to fold the toilet paper tube right on that line that you drew. You'll take your scissors and you'll cut a small notch in there. That notch would be just big enough so that when you unfold that toilet paper tube, you'll be able to fit the tip of the scissors in there and then cut all the way up. You refold the bottom and then you're going to pinch it. You're going to squeeze it together. This is what's going to help form that nice triangular shape. You can staple it together if you have a stapler. If you don't, you'll put some glue in there and then hit it with a, bull, a bulldog clip or a paper clip to keep it nice and still as it dries. So we're done with the body, so we're gonna put that to the side. All right, on to my favorite part, the wings. Now hopefully you were able to tell that I chose the monarch butterfly as my inspiration for these particular butterflies. Now please know that you don't have to choose any one butterfly to create. You can create your own, whatever your heart desires. But if you want yours to look like, say, a monarch or an eastern tiger swallowtail or perhaps even the morning cloak, which by the way, did you know that morning cloaks overwinter as adults and they're the first ones to emerge in the springtime? So if you're lucky enough, you might actually get to see one now. If you want yours to look like any of those particular butterflies, you need to make sure that you pay special attention to things like the wing shape, the pattern, and the colors so that yours will absolutely resemble the one that you've decided 
to create. All right, so I've decided to give you a drawing tutorial on how to draw the wings because the color, the shape, the pattern can all be intimidating, but not if you break things down into their simple shapes. So if we look at the wings and we create a large oval for the top wing and then a smaller oval that overlaps the bottom wing, now we have the foundation for our wings. Now, how large do you draw them? Take your toilet paper tube body and place it on the paper and have a look at it and decide for yourself how large you want it to be. Now remember, this wing has to fit inside this slot, so always add a little bit of extra um, paper here or extra drawing. So now I'm going to come on, I'm going to sweep around the top and I'm going to come down nice and graceful. Come all the way across like that. Now the bottom wing is a little bit more squared off in shape. So when I get to that bottom oval, I'm just simply going to square it off. Now I'm going to trace over it with a marker, which is something else that I suggest that you do to get that shape just right. Because what you're going to do now is you're going to cut this shape out. Okay, so here I have it all cut out. And now you want to cut it out of that cereal box or that cracker box or whatever box that you have. You're going to take the two printed sides together you can use paper clips or staples or anything like that to hold these two pieces of paper together or two pieces of cardboard together. You're going to place your drawing, you're going to, it's going to act as a template. You're going to trace all the way around it just like this, being careful not to move it. Okay, keep going until you end up with your wings on the cardboard. After you cut them out, lay them in front of you just like this. Butterfly wings are symmetrical. That means whatever happens on one side happens on the other side. So if you're gonna draw a great big oval here, draw a great big oval over here. Decorate them however you want. Color them whatever colors you want. Be as creative as possible. When you go to put it together, and you stick those um, butterfly wings in the slot, I want you to pay attention that, I don't know if you can see it, but part of this one hangs off. So what I want you to do is draw a line here, take it out, cut it, so that when you put it back in here, it lays nice and flush with the body. Now the body, I'd like you to do me a favor and add tiny little hairs, whether you use it with markers or paint, because butterflies actually have hairs covering their body. It helps them to sense the environment, the temperatures, the wind. So add that detail and don't forget the antenna. As you can see on mine, I've added the antennas using simple Q-tips, clean Q-tips, my friends, painted black, then simply insert them in there with a little dab of glue, and you are done. So my friends, I cannot wait to see what you've come up with, how creative you can be on this Toilet Paper Tube Challenge Week 2. Please submit them to hashtag at home in nature. Stay healthy, and I'll see you next week.